is Vivocha. Good morning, everybody. I'm Gianluca Ferranti, one of the two co-founders of Vivocha. Have you ever abandoned an online purchase since you were not able to find all the information you needed? Probably yes, and you wouldn't be alone. Actually, six out of 10 consumers abandon online transactions since they can find immediate support. And 90% of the abandoned shopping cart will go cold within one hour. A huge missed opportunity for the e-commerce market. Here at Vivocha, we would like to fix all that offering a cloud-based service that will allow any company to provide real-time support to their online shopper. And we will do that with a very simple application. You simply have to go to www.vivocha.com, sign up, choose your widget, fully customize them to make suitable for website. You can change the color, the text, the position, or you can even create your own custom widget. Make them smart and create proactive engagement rule. You can decide which visitor to engage, on what pages, and how to do that. But especially, you can decide which channel you want to offer them. Vivocha is the only platform on the market that will offer a fully multimedia experience offering chat, video, voice, and callback functionalities. And then you simply have to cut and paste a single line of code into your website. That's the only integration request. We already have a number of customers on the market that are using our technology that are top player in their field in the telco business, utility market, financial institution, insurance companies, and retail and e-commerce in general. Vivocha can be used by any company online in any vertical market of any size. The global e-commerce business is growing double digit, five times faster than the traditional brick and mortar market and is expected to be a 1.4 trillion market by 2015. Considering an average transaction of 200 euros and a conversion rate that is hardly higher than 5%, we can expect at least 100 billion shopping section. Our data show that at least 2% 2 of the online shopper will ask for live help and the analysts confirm that number. And charging our customer 0.5 euro per interaction, we have a mar potential market of at least 1.4 billion euros. But since at Vivocha we are paranoid about number and feedback, we made our own research and surveyed more than 1,700 online shoppers, and the number confirmed that 75% of them will increase his buying attitude if is offered online help. And more than half will like proactive support offering. But also, our current customer showed that we are on the right path. Enel, our current largest customer, saw a significant increase in the conversion rate after deploying Vivocha on their website. Vivocha will be based on a freemium model where the premium account will enjoy an all-inclusive paper interaction model that currently is not offered by anybody on the market. Vivocha is very simple to start and very fast to scale. The Vivocha team consists of myself with business, sales, and marketing experience, and Federico Pinna that have an extensive experience in R&D labs of the primary uh, call center infrastructure provider worldwide. We are currently a team of seven people. So we have the market, we have the product, we have the opportunity, we already have the customer, we already have all the KPI in place to monitor our growth, and it's now time to scale. Vivocha will be a spin-off of Freytech, that is a leading Italian call center provider, and we are just starting the incorporation of a new legal entity. We received from Freytech the seed fund to create the first beta release and go to market, and we are currently seeking 1.5 million euros VC investment in order to expand our team, especially in the sales and the R&D uh, areas, and to launch the first sales and marketing campaign and a customer acquisition. We want to also expand internationally very fast. Our goal is to get to 200 international customers and 1.5 million euro revenue within the second operational year. I thank you, everybody. Uh, I invite all you to go to the site and test the platform, and all your questions are more than welcome. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Very good, very interesting. Um, you. Can you explain 
how, how do you think to, 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 to do the marketing and, and the customer acquisition? And so I think the, yeah. the, the yeah. major part of the money you yeah. look for, for in, that. In that. Uh, actually, uh, Vivocha is uh, what we call uh, online customer interaction made easy. And, uh, myself, Enrico, and Raytech, that is a company that is allowing all that, comes from a long experience in the call center and customer operation market. A, a market that is very traditional, comes from telco guys, people that used to bring boxes in-house. And we are going to play in the online space that today is made by server. So our go-to-market strategy will be primarily focus on company that used to do business online. So they are very willing to use self-service web 2.0 kind of applications. So we'll be spent into SEO positioning, uh, online display advertising, and all these viral effect that we can generate also in the B2B market. Uh, another interesting thing that being present in the web page of our customer, we will have a viral effect that will lead uh, generate new lead to our website directly using that. We're already seeing that uh, actually linear, that is one of our web uh, uh, tester at the moment, uh, is, is the third referral to our website currently, just using the platform. Mm, if we see these numbers, you stop losing money only above 10 million uh, revenues. Why is that? Yeah, very competitive market, so we have to keep investing either in R&D and uh, in, in marketing. Actually, this business plan is based on the assumption that the market is ramping up uh, now and we want to establish ourselves as market leader on a global scale. So, so we have to keep investing also in the product development. Uh, and the next phase will be social media. This is going to be the new channel for customer service. So actually, we are putting keep putting money into the, the product portfolio. Obviously, we can become much prof uh, better profitable in a shorter period of time uh, at the expense of future expansion. So actually, we have to work depending on the overall objective. By the way, as all the uh, software as a service model, the opportunity is to be very profitable. Our uh, cost of serve a single customer give us a lot of space to, to be very profitable when we decide to become Actually, the, the, here is if we want to be a, a global leader, if we want to play in a niche, or if we want to say simply stay in a, in a local market. I mean, I say the global business is at least 1.4 billion euros, and here we are expecting to go to 75 million euros. So to understand better, the, I mean, your goal is to be, to be a, a global player? Definitely, we, we must. And, and tell, tell us about the, the, the competitive... Uh, competitive uh, landscape, yes. Uh, for sure, we will compete with traditional call center infrastructure provider, the telco guys like Avaya, Genesis, Cisco, and likes. Uh, but they are very small and very expensive. So uh, the opportunity we see now is to play in the, let's say, in the mi mi small and medium-sized business of online per player, people that are not used to invest hundreds of millions of euros in customer care infrastructure for their operation. And so we want to scale very fast, position ourselves as a market leader, and then we are sure that also these big guys will come back in the game and might be a future exit, for example, to be acquired to extend our, their offering. Sure. Can you please explain a little bit more uh, um, the revenues and those KPIs that are what does it mean that uh, the average uh, revenues from uh, each uh, yeah. customer is uh, six uh, yeah. thousand? Yeah, actually, we are, uh, are planning to to launch a freemium model. We will offer the possibility to every com company to start using the platform for free, giving free credits, and then we will charge in two ways actually a pay-as-you-go model or a monthly subscription either in the pay-as-you-go and in the monthly subscription you have different subscription uh, plan depending on the dimension of the service so the number of interaction you will end on the website we currently have customers that handle few callbacks or chat or communication activity per day and uh, we have NL that is handling more than 1,000 uh, 1, interaction per day. So actually the average cost is uh, based on our calculation of what percentage of customer will acquire in each segment generate an average of, of, of uh, revenue per month and so per year. Okay. Uh, we are very open to discuss uh, the, fig the figure in details. 
and you will after this. Thank you. Thank you, Tour. All right.